Hey everybody, NavyDoc5184 here, and welcome to another reaction video. Uh, today we are going to be reacting to a uh, live performance of Selena's Como La Flor. Um, this was her performance in the Astrodome, which I believe was her last concert, and I believe Como La Flor was the last song in this concert, so um, this is kind of a very bittersweet reaction because... A, I know Selena um, pretty well. This is actually my favorite song of hers. Um, and the fact of knowing that this is the last time she performs live. Um, I'm trying to find the right word to describe it, but it's really hard. Um, yeah, it's going to be a very bittersweet emotion it's kind of like one of those things you know it's like it kind of hits you hard after the fact it's kind of like with the queen's song the show must go on you know knowing that that was like the last song that freddie recorded you know it's and then you know how he dies afterwards you know makes the song while it's a very great song makes it a very bittersweet song um i feel it's going to be the same thing with this performance how you know, because I've heard this performance, but I didn't know that there was a video of it. So that's why I looked to see if I could find a video for it. And since I found it, I'm going to go ahead and react to it. But I have a feeling that it's going to be that same thing where I know I'm going to enjoy it. But at the same time, it's going to be very bittersweet just knowing what happens not too long after. Um, for those of you who don't know uh, Selena, um, it would just take too long for me to try to explain everything um it'd be best if you just looked her up and researched her yourself um but in a nutshell um this was her last performance before she was murdered and she was uh working on her crossover album because before she had primarily been singing in spanish but she was recording her um english album dreaming of you and um yeah and she was you know she was murdered by someone who she thought was a friend and was actually, I believe, president of her fan club even. But that in itself is a whole nother story. Too long for me to get into now. Uh, just go into this reaction knowing that, you know, this is her last performance that she's ever going to do before she is murdered. And it does kind of change the tenor of everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, I'm going to leave a link to the original video in the description below and then also leave one in this info card over there. So make sure you uh, check out the original video and definitely check out some more of her stuff. She's got a lot of great stuff. And uh, I hope that with this reaction, um, those of you who have never heard of Selena before or maybe you've heard of her but have never listened to her, you know, um, hopefully this can help um, broaden your musical taste a little bit or if you are one who already – does have a very uh, unique musical taste as myself you know um you know hopefully it's just something else that you can just put into your uh musical portfolio i guess you could say but um let's go ahead and get started i said let's get started Here we go. Ahora, me, me Porque ustedes hicieron esta canción un éxito, el primer éxito para nosotros. Aquí en los Estados Unidos, igual como en México. Espero que recuerden esta canción. Como la Mm. 
Wow. See, that? Right, I'm just going to pause it real quick just to make a quick observation of that. So, um, for those of you who don't know Spanish, which I'm sure probably will be a few of you, um, I'm not very good at it myself. I did take a bit of it in high school, enough that I can, um, as long as she is singing or speaking slowly enough, I can catch them stuff like her bit in the beginning. I didn't catch most of it. Um, but the chorus, A, I know the song, so I kind of already know a rough translation of it. You know, but that last line that she just did before her pause um, was, you know, translated was saying, I know how to lose. And, you know, it's kind of like how she, you know, had like, you know, it looked like, she, you know, she was really feeling that. And then how she just goes into that smile, you know, how she's smiling at the crowd and then how she looks directly into the camera, smiles even bigger and then make sure, you know, to give a, a wave. Um man um i you know again i just don't know if i could properly describe it but it was um you know it felt like she just wanted to make sure it's like she knew that while there probably weren't some fans that are close by that she really wanted to connect with them and let them know that she's there for them too you know one thing you know when you learn about selena she was all about her fans all about her fans loved her fans adored her fans you know and you know, that little bit kind of showed it right there. Um, again, it's just just a little minor touch, you know. It's just like she tried to make it so personal for everybody, you know. I just got to pause for a second because I know this is something I brought up in um a couple of my other reactions. But, uh, you know, it feels like such a lost art of enjoying yourself while performing. You know, I mean, you can tell she loves it. You know, she loves performing for her fans. You can just tell. You can feel, you know, that she loves it. She's very into her performance. You know, and, I, you know, sometimes it feels like people nowadays are just more into putting on a spectacle but i mean you just look at her set it's a very basic setup you know nothing very flashy about it it's more about the performance rather than the show if you understand what i mean you know and it's just like you know i wish people would focus more on trying to connect with fans make sure the performance is great rather than making sure the the show itself you know i don't i don't want the show to outdo the performance you know, there are some people who I felt could mix both together. You know, like Michael Jackson, I think, was great at making a great show, but at the same time giving you a great performance. You know, I don't think everybody can pull that off, you know. And, uh, you know, sometimes I wish people would focus more on performance rather than spectacle. But um, but then again, fans nowadays probably prefer spectacle over performance. But whatever. Anyhow, back to it. Another 
another pause right there. Um, what I said earlier about how when you look at this after the fact, how some things hit a little harder. That line right there that she just said, um, translated means, with your goodbye, you take my heart. Knowing what happens to, you know, knowing that she, you know, eventually is going to be murdered. That line right there, you know, kind of hits hard. You know, because you think about all the people that looked up to her, you know, a lot of people that she was giving hope to, you know, that they could make it. You know, if you know her story, it's quite an inspirational story. And I really recommend that you look at it, you know, but all the hope that she gave people and all the people that looked up to her, you know, when she was taking, you know, you can only imagine the heartbreak that there was amongst her fan base because of it. You know, I mean, I mean, and she, she was probably on her way to be a huge crossover star, you know, and the fact that, you know, she was not able to get that chance, you know, to see her English singles become hits. The fact that she was not able to live to see that, you know, it's just, you know, sometimes it's rough to take in because it's like where how far could she have gone, especially since she was even trying to, you know, she would like had her own fashion line going, too. So it's like she had so much going for her and the fact that she was not able to live up to her full potential. It's just a darn shame. Look at that. See that? The little flick to have the crowd um, sing along with her. Yeah, she got some soul in her too, man. There's not really much I can say or add to that that I haven't already said already. I knew that I was going to enjoy the performance, but at the same time, you know, I knew there was going to be a tinge of sadness in there 
knowing that that's, that's it. There is no more after this. You know, it's one thing when it's somebody's last performance by choice, but, you know, it's like when you don't get the choice, you know, when that's taken, that makes it a little harder. Especially when, you know, you just, you know, you just kind of felt that she was really going to take off and shoot higher than where she already was. Because like I said, she was in the midst of making her crossover album when she was killed. You know, she had started her own fashion line. You know, she was already beloved in Mexico. And if she could have just, you know, been able to continue on that trajectory, where could she have gone? I dare say she could have possibly been one of the biggest female artists of all time. She could have possibly been... I know this is probably going to anger a lot of people saying this. She could have been Beyonce before Beyonce in terms of how big a female artist could have been. I believe Selena had that potential. You know, I mean, she was doing this since she was a child. You know, her father, you know, had done it, you know, so it was like in her blood, you know, it's like, you know, just, you know, she, she could have been huge you know i feel i feel she would have had the chance to go she would have been huge you know probably could still be going on today and even if not you know the legacy that you know she would have left you know to cross over the way she did you know she wasn't as beloved as she was for nothing you know and you know i just you know, it's just such a darn shame that, you know, we didn't get a chance to see her at her full potential. You know, she would have been something else. I, I really, truly believe she would have been something else. Um, but, um, yeah, with all that said, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I know I enjoyed the performance very much. I just wish we could have had more after that. But, um, you know, thankful for what we did get, at least, you know upset that we can get more but thankful for what we um do have and can enjoy so um if you all like the video um make sure you hit the like button um subscribe to the channel if you haven't already if you just stick around a little bit later um you know at the end you know you can uh you know click the button to subscribe make sure you hit that uh, alert button so you can see some of my other reactions and challenges which you can click on the playlist button at the end too and then uh leave a comment let me know what you thought of the performance uh let me know what you think of selena in general if you have not heard selena what did you think um if you do know selena um what is your favorite selena song and is there anything else from selena you'd like to see me react to and i'll catch you all down the road